New DNA sequences can be added to plants to increase their agricultural yield. This is currently a billion dollar industry with more than 50 crop varieties available, occupying more than 70 million acres of U.S. cropland. For example, a number of diverse crops have been engineered to be herbicide resistant, so that when weeds grow, herbicides can be applied which might kill normal crops, but genetically modified crops which are resistant to these herbicides survive, and so therefore uh, herbicides will only kill the weeds and not the crops. Other general applications which have been applied to many crops are for frost resistance or drought resistance, or the abilities to reduce viruses or insect pests. Some crops can be genetically engineered to improve their tastes or their nutritional value. The first crops which were commercially available, which were genetically modified, were a strain of tomatoes which uh, could ripen on the vine because they softened more slowly and they were perceived as better tasting in many taste tests. Other genetically modified strains have been engineered so that they express more healthy ingredients, whether this be something that was naturally occurring in the plant or a, a nutraceutical, something uh, which has a health benefit from another species which was added to this crop. Applications would include tomato strains, uh, which make more of the antioxidant lycopene, beans with less carbohydrates, so they would cause less gas, potatoes, which will produce healthier potato chips, and rice strains, which produce more vitamin A. Thus, the genetic modification of crop plants can potentially make them healthier for human consumption. Some crops can make their own insecticides, so a corn plant might make its own insecticides in response to attack by insects. As a result, pesticides would not have to be sprayed on an entire field, much of which would end up in streams and affecting other aspects of the environment. And so uh, crops which produce their own pesticide might result in less pesticide being sprayed and less affecting the ecosystem at large. Other corn plants have been engineered so that their husks and stalks are better as biofuels and will produce more ethanol and thus uh, this will reduce the amount of petroleum consumed. And so some of these genetically modified plants might not only be profitable but also uh, reduce pesticide use in the environment or reduce the country's energy dependence on petroleum. There are seemingly endless applications to genetically modifying plants. They can be used as biofactories to make substances uh, from rare tropical plants which would otherwise have to be imported. They can synthesize the components of vaccines to protect humans from disease. They could even serve as vaccines. It is possible that simply by eating certain plants, say potato chips of a certain brand, that one could stimulate the immune system to make antibodies which would help defend against gastrointestinal uh, disorders. Plants could produce uh, substances otherwise uh, received from animals, and so fatty acids normally gotten from fish, which promote positive health effects, can now be synthesized in plants. Other plants could be generated from tobacco plants, which don't make nicotine, to flowers, which will bloom longer and smell sweeter. The possible applications of adding new genes to plants is seemingly endless.